Hello everyone, this is Teacher Erica, and welcome to another virtual lesson in English. While watching this virtual lesson, you may pause it to write some important details and you may also use your English notebooks in answering some of the activities. I hope that this is going to be a helpful video and please don't forget to share it with your friends and classmates to help them as well. Today, I am going to share with you one of the most important and basic lessons to improve our English communication skills, which is all about the different kinds of sentences. Every day, we use sentences in order to express our thoughts and ideas when conversing with others. What are sentences, by the way? A sentence is a group of words that expresses a complete thought or idea. Examples, I am a grade 3 pupil. What did you eat this morning? Kindly give this letter to your mother. That was an awesome performance. Please finish your work on time. In the following sentences, all these groups of words express a complete idea or thought which make them be considered as sentences. Remember, in writing sentences, always start with a capital letter and end it with a punctuation mark such as period, question mark, or exclamation point. So here are the four kinds of sentences according to use. We have declarative sentence, interrogative sentence, imperative sentence, and exclamatory sentence. So let's start with declarative sentence. What is a declarative sentence? It is used to state information or factual statements and always ends with a period. Examples, Martha is playing with Anne at the playground. My tutor will arrive at 5 o'clock. Science and math are my favorite subjects. We will notice that all these sentences simply aim to state different information or ideas. What about an interrogative sentence? It is used in asking a question and always ends with a question mark. Examples, where is the nearest pharmacy? How was your vacation last month? Would you like some lemonade? Also, in asking questions, we may use the following words to begin our sentences. The word what is used in asking for a thing, object, or idea. For example, what is your favorite color? The word who is used in asking for a person. For example, who is that singer? The word where is used in asking for a location, position, or place. For example, where do you live? The word when is used when asking for a time or occasion. For example, when is your birthday? The word why is used in asking for a reason or explanation. Example, why are you crying? The word how is used when asking for a way, manner, or method. Example, how was your day? The third kind of sentence, according to use, is called an imperative sentence. It is used to express a command, a request, or a wish. Examples, please open the door for the guests. Submit your assignments tomorrow. Stop right there. The last kind of sentence, according to use, is called an exclamatory sentence. It is used to express a strong feeling or emotion and always ends with an exclamation point. Examples, I am so amazed with this beautiful place. This is the worst day ever. Oh no, the train is about to leave. So now, let's try making sentences based on the following pictures. Here are the sentences I made for the beautiful lady here. Then later, we'll try to identify what kinds of sentences are those. Number one, the lady is wearing a nice dress. Next, who is that beautiful lady? Third, please introduce yourself. Fourth, wow, that's a very pretty dress. Would you like to help me identify these sentences? 
That's right. The first one is a declarative sentence. The next sentence is an interrogative sentence. The third one is an imperative sentence. And the last one is an exclamatory sentence. How about the second image? So these are the sentences that I made. Sun is the center of our solar system. What is the nearest planet to the sun? Identify the largest planet. Jupiter is so huge! So the first one is, very good, that's a declarative sentence. How about the next one? That's right, that is an interrogative sentence. How about the third one? Of course, that is an imperative sentence. And the last one, that's right, it's an exclamatory sentence. How about for this last image? So these are the sentences that I made. Number one, they look so adorable. What are their names? Take a photo of this cute moment. Aw, your pets are so sweet. Let's try to identify what kinds of sentences are these. Number one, that's correct, a declarative sentence. The second one is an interrogative sentence. The third one is an imperative sentence. And the last one is an exclamatory sentence. You did a great job! Now let's try identifying the punctuation marks to be used for the following sentences. You may pause this video while answering the activity. Let's try to answer number one. How did that happen? So the correct punctuation mark should be a question mark. For number two, hurry, the bus is waiting. That should be an exclamation point. How about the third one? Katie is my favorite singer. That should be course a period please come early again that should also be a period and for the last one help my dog is missing that should be an exclamation point so now I want you to tell whether the sentence is declarative interrogative imperative or exclamatory again you may pause this video while answering the activity are you ready to answer? Great! So here are the correct answers. Number one, would you like some ice cream? Of course, that is interrogative sentence. Number two, Justin is my best friend since college. That is declarative. Number three, tell your parents to come to my office. Of course, that is imperative. Number four, oh gosh, that's a big rattlesnake. That is an exclamatory sentence. Number five, blue and yellow make the color green. That is a declarative sentence. Hooray! I know you answered all of them correctly. Congratulations! So to end my virtual lesson, let's do a short recap. Again, a sentence is a group of words that expresses a complete thought or idea. Sentences are what we use in both verbal and written communication. There are four different kinds of sentences that we use. These are declarative, interrogative, imperative, and exclamatory sentences. If you have any questions about this video, please feel free to send a message to my Facebook Messenger or email. Also, if you find this video helpful, Kindly click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friends and classmates. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe!